So, this happened. An Indian restaurant named Lanterns. It denied access to a Muslim woman wearing a veil. That's right. They denied access to a Muslim woman in Bahrain. Or as the world likes to call it, Bahrain. Which, by the way, is a Muslim majority country. So you, you just denied Muslims access to a restaurant because they're dressed as Muslims in a Muslim majority country. The frickin' audacity to deny a Muslim access because they're Muslim, dressed as a Muslim in a Muslim majority country. Oh my God. Dude, I, I, I almost went nuts. I almost lost it watching this. Well, I was... Look, when something like this happens, in a non-Muslim majority country, if this happens like in Sweden, or this happens in the States or Canada, yes, it's infuriating, you know, like this goes against human rights, it goes against the Constitution, this goes against the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and yeah, you probably take them to court, and you lawyer up and whatnot, but in the back of your mind, you're like, yes, this is racism, this is, this is bigotry, this is this and that, xenophobia, but you can understand that it happens. But for this to happen in a Muslim-majority country where a Muslim is discriminated against for looking Muslim, being Muslim, and dressing Muslim, it... What? Here is where the issue really lies. It appears that the manager of this restaurant who did this was Indian, and it appears that they were Hindu nationalists, or they had the Hindu nationalist mentality. And if you know anything about what's happening to Muslims in India, the Hindu extreme, especially BJP supporters and many Hindu extremists, Hindu nationalists are going around oppressing Muslims left and right in a variety of ways. So honestly, I think this dude just got a little too excited when he was witnessing the Hindu nationalists in India oppressing Muslims and he just, he just forgot where he was. Anyways, the, the, the authorities closed down that place pretty quickly. And I mean like, <laughs> of course they did. Question to the manager, you dumb? Now, I'm not sure if the place has reopened or if it's still closed, but they did issue an apology. They issued an apology stating that they do not support any discrimination. They've been in, in Bahrain and they've had a business there for 35 years. And in response to this event, what they're going to do is they're going to provide free food for guests on a certain day, March 29th. Free food is nice. <laughs> Bigot free establishments, even better. By the way, if you live in Bahrain, Please let me know if this place is still open or if they closed down. I'd just like to know. And yeah, unfortunately, if this person is an Indian Hindu nationalist, this just tells you how stupid, mindless, and quite frankly, vulgar some of these extremists are. Keep this in mind. This is what this person is doing in a Muslim majority country. Imagine what they do to Muslims when Muslims are a minority in places like India.